Greetings, hello, welcome back to my project. Zomboid survived the first night in this new place here. Uh, I did fast forward time a little bit before going to sleep until midnight because we were not really tired and I didn't want to wake up in the middle of the night. Well, it's still five in the morning, so it's going to be an interesting day. Um, let's grab one of those MREs. Didn't know they would make a, like a can opening sound, that's weird. Uh, chicken stroganoff meal, alright, heat that up. Spice it up. Nom nom nom. Fresh breakfast and some peanut butter crackers. Oh, too full. Okay. Can't explore the neighborhood on an empty stomach, can we? Yeah, not a fan of this house with that broken uh, garage door. So, let's see what the neighborhood has to offer. Oh, ah, I see. Brick hammer. Breaking down again. Getting bricked. Uh, I think I still have some duct tape on me. Oh, yeah, it's not going to do much, but I like that brick hammer so much. <laughs> Let's keep using that. Hello, David. Pingas grill, that's nice to see. I don't like the sound of that. Hmm. I want to get inside before they break something, but at the same time, I also want to play this safe here. Right. No, I can't see anything from that window. Oh boy. Oh no, they broke the door. There's another one. And another one. A little bit more food. No. Oh. Let's say a little bit more food here than what I was in the other house. Oh, some morning chocolate. Sure, why not? Also, since we have a trash can here, let's throw away these satchels that we are not didn't use. Of sound down here. That's unfortunate with the back door. Especially since I'm, I have zero carpentry XP.
Someone's broken a window somewhere. They break these so fast. No idea where that was. Might have been like upper floor. Let me actually check something in here. Did anyone here have a key? Key ring. It's just annoying to get the key out of that. Sprinting level up. All pain. Well stuck to Arsh. Let me actually start check if there's maybe another brick hammer in here or something like that. Hammer hammer. Ballot. Ask and you shall receive, eh? So all the windows are still intact here. Yeah? Trying to find where they smashed a window earlier. Would have been all the way up here. So what I didn't like about the attic in the other building is on top of the stairs you basically had right and left, north and south as paths. Same case here. Which window did they smash? I feel like finding a gun locker in the house with some clothes in it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, I get it, I get it. You're also here to view the house. A little bit of an effort to get a good, good offer for a rental place here. Those two windows are smashed, okay. So they must have smashed this one that I heard first, and then nobody came in, and then smashed this one just now where the, the whole horde came in. Alright. Anyway. Building checked. Potential base, missing back door.
So it is barricaded on multiple windows, so it's usually the sign of... Yeah, this is an actual survivor house. I'm just a little bit confused because those houses usually then have something on the, on the upper levels. and either curtains or like sheets covering the windows and it looks like a, no that's that i thought i could look inside but that's actually just a sheet i think yes um what a little bit of of door banging happening here. So, how do we want to do this? Doesn't seem to be anyone in the garage, so... Sure. Don't... Oh, oh yeah, this is... This is stacked, okay. Someone's in this room, banging on that window there. Ground floor should be clear-ish for now. Medical supplies, we've got weapons, okay. Might have said it before, but you know, checking out survivor houses always is fun even even if you're at a state where you barely don't uh, barely need anything anymore i enjoy exploring these Has a lot of good stuff here. Sledges, katana. I think it's like, oh, I want to use that katana, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, I want to want to train up my short blunt skill. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Right. Um. So this door is usable. This door is barricaded. All the windows on the ground floor are still barricaded except the one we came in through. Let's 
So we can also barricade that, and then it's just... Even tempted to barricade that door, and we just use that as an entrance and exit. We have a fully barricaded house with lots of equipment inside. Oh boy. It's like eight zombies there, so... Immediately start working against. I saw the encumbrance symbol for a second. I'm like, no, I'm not, not having that again. I'm not gonna run around encumbered, even if it's just slightly. Oh, hell no. Did you suddenly start running at me? One more guy there at the building. Kind of like to encourage him to get over here. Now, since we can't build walls yet, what we can do uh, early game though, without any carpentry skill required, is build lock walls. Where you just take uh, wooden locks and just four locks, some sheets or sheet rope, I don't remember right now, and you just barricade it. Downside is obviously, well, we can't drive in and out of our vehicle then. This is oh, a little bit cramped here. So we already have carrying enough stuff. Okay. Um, again, it's mostly now about checking out these houses here, and not so much about looting them. And I'm making mental notes of where to find what. Mm -hmm. We want to make our own ammo, more propane is here. Yeah, but we brought a lot of stuff in our trailer that we didn't need to bring. That's all already here in those houses. Over prepared, you could say.
Either way, similar layout for all these houses. Okay, let's check the attic. So I'm thinking, I'm going to do one last sweep here through this little neighborhood, and we'll start considering this as our new place where we stay for now. Uh, the second downside of using uh, lock walls, what I was talking about just a second ago, um, to block the entrance is, of course, you know, you can't, you don't have window lock walls or anything like that, so you can't view, look through them. So it's always a lottery of climbing over the wall and hoping nobody's on the other side. Um. It's still reasonably early in the day. Do I have nails on me? I do. Okay, I'm just... I want to make sure nobody is in this uh, gets into the house while we're gone. So the only way they can get in is this door, the door in the back, and that window we came in through. So I'm just gonna plonk one barricade on this window, so we know either when one of the doors is open or one of the windows lost its barricade, that somebody got inside. Really not not um, security to prevent people from getting in. If somebody wants to get in, they can get in, but more like knowing, oh, somebody got in. And we need to be careful then. What's that guy? Where's he gone? Mister? Hello? This is a private neighborhood. Not everybody can go in there. I just want to try something here, and I hope that doesn't make too much of, an, of a ruckus. And I wanted to push this against the wall here. I see you coming. Curious what I'm doing here. So the idea is that people like this guy who walk along the wall will not have such an easy time coming in. Kind of get stuck on the on the car here.
Okay. And then ideally the, the same thing on the other side. Now, that whole little um, adventure here had me revving my engine the whole time, and that makes a lot of noise. So we might have made a, new, a few new friends from that park on the other side of the road here. another one. There's always another one. It's a zombie apocalypse. What are you expecting? Congratulations, you killed the last zombie. Oh, I would prefer if they came kind of in, in, in smaller groups and not like spaced out like that. It's really inconvenient. Isometric and then driving in reverse and steering always has me, oh no, that's actually not the direction I wanted to steer into, kind of thing. Right. Let's give you a little bit of a nudge. Okay. One more bounce here. Preferably without making sounds. As long as it doesn't make this fresh sound that it just did, your car shouldn't take damage from, like, pushing other vehicles. I want to double check that I can't walk there. Alright, cool. Like, it's not 100% safe, but it kind of helps a little bit, you know. So the zombies then path this way, instead of pathing here, and then realize, oh, I can go in there. Anyway, one other thing I wanted to check here. Uh, first of all, give me one of those. Just in case we're going to have a longer day again. I'll check where the entrance to this um, this mansion is. Does have me intrigued. sounds on the other side of the wall. Well, there's people on the in the park terrain. There's some door there that they're bushing down. Gonna last long. Uh, 
Yep, and it's gone. Okay. That was amazing how, like, two zombies are able to bash down a metal gate in a few minutes. A little bit uh, concerning how much shuffling I hear on the other side of this wall. Definitely more than two zombies inside, I would say. Maybe even three. It's also an interesting area here, um, but I think I, I'd prefer for a base like solid walls instead of see-through walls, just for for less zombie attention. Okay, I see one zombie actually only there. What is this even? Okay. So you, you need to smash these in to get inside here. Okay, surprises from the back. What can we see? Uh, there's a couple, two or three zombies in there. Wow. It's so far kind of intriguing, that, that terrain here. So yeah, the zombie sees me, but doesn't start attacking anything, doesn't path anywhere. So there's currently no way for them to get out of this terrain. Which also, on the other way, if I was inside, nobody could get in. But I can't get in, right? You can't jump these walls, because they have some sort of top here. One of my sledgehammer here. There was one in in our new house, so we wanted to break in there. We could. Really torn between. Um, Fancy house, but also way too big for a single person. And it's just gonna be another th um, issue with the generator and 80 lights somehow being attached to it and finding them and turning them off. This is this is a good good place here. We, again, we started the day early at 5 a.m., so I don't want to push my luck here. 
I know how this game works. Um, we could, however... Hang on, this window is... No, it is barricaded, okay. Alright, if this is gonna be my my new base for now, at least... No, we don't have any corpses inside this time around. I already don't remember if that was the only two or if there was anybody else. Corps we need to take care of since we finally made it to Tandil. So I was thinking well originally I was thinking um you know to kinda Uh, what happened? Okay, um... So, I think this might have been just the corpse decay timer. Because that corpse had a certain age. And as soon as I try to drop it on the ground here, the game's like, nope. That corpse five days old. After five days they despawn. Well, but in spirit, we still had it, right? And we brought him here and consider him on this lawn chair, looking into the tundle sun, finally reaching this spot. Hey, I do remember that zom some zombies can open doors and windows, so I just wanted to make sure all doors are locked. I was excited to see 9mm and then I realized, oh no, we, we switched, we're no longer using 9mm. Now, now that we kind of have a little bit more time, I just wanted to take a second look on on the stuff we found here in this place. Uh, I think Kitchen had a bunch of stuff. Oh, I mentioned Nightstick is the only thing halfway interesting for me there. Containers here. Just had some white wine, and then I think. What about here? My branch metal bar. Medical supplies. It's a little bit dark here on screen. Let me just. I, let me just turn on the flashlight. I'm just gonna bring a few things downstairs that we might be using sooner rather than later.
as a thing. Okay, please don't do that ever again. Um, anyway, yeah, I think Sledge and Wood Axe is certainly helpful, especially if we want to get into that other place. Even though I am specialized in the short plants, we might be using that katana sooner. Sooner or later. Alright, anyway, I, I like it, I like it. I think we're, we're, we're in a good position here. Oh, look, I'm 82. So don't really wanna... wanna Stomp down a whole cereal. Take care of some of the hunger. Anything else that I can quickly eat and that doesn't do too much here. Can of tomatoes. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. So let me know what you think. Is is this gonna be our new place here, or should we should we try to conquer whatever this is? And then also, do we just start clearing towards the hospital, or do we get our trader first? Like I think with the supplies we have in here, in this place, and in the, the neighborhood, I don't think we necessarily need anything from the trailer. Of course, we want the library from there, or the books are in there. But yeah, uh, let me know what you think. For now, we're going to put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.